welcome back to me, join the Space Activist, and today we're going to be talking about NASA's latest mission, and it's called Dragonfly, and it's expected to take off in late 2027, and it's a very exciting, and today we're going to be talking about what it's going to do when it reaches um, Saturn's biggest moon, Titan. So, let's get right into it. Actually, is about half the size of Earth and has 1.352 meters per second square of a gravity. That's actually about the same as our moon, and it's the, about the only moon in our solar system with an actual noticeable atmosphere. So our um, dragon, so Dragonfly is actually going to fly in a spacecraft towards Titan, and then it's actually in a quadcopter design of a of a drone with eight rotors. Um, but the rotors are actually very different with its aerodynamic, its aerodynamic, its aerodynamic um, airflow shape because it's actually very, very similar to a wind turbine rather than a, um, a conventional drone blade, and that's actually why it's so interesting because it's not like a conventional drone. It's specifically designed to have the to withstand the conditions on Titan, and because the speed of sound is actually much less compared to Earth, so um, it's, it's very quick between them. So the speed of sound is actually much different. Than Earth. Um, so Titan will fly there, and, and it'll use uh, it, it'll have a mass spectrometer, so we can actually uh, measure the differences in light and the light spectrum and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then, as you can see in this video right here, this is how the actual spacecraft is going to look like. The Dragonfly will have a pulse neutron generator and an onboard gamma ray sensor to look at key elements and in, in, in key materials like carbon and hydrogen. Um, in oxygen or liquid or in liquid ice, in water ice. So it's, it's actually going to look at under, what's underneath the actual crust of Titan. Because underneath that, there will be signs of life, the, the world's the first building blocks of our solar, our solar system, the building blocks of Earth, which would have originated about 4.5 billion years ago. Um, and that's why it's so special. Um, and that's what's that's why we're actually sending this spacecraft there. That's why the spacecraft is actually special and the drone. It has eight rotors, which are powered by it's it's, it's in a quadcopter design, as I told you. So we can actually zip through um, zip through very, uh, zip through above Titan's surface of the very terrain above Titan, and it actually has a generator system. So the generator is actually powered by heat um, from the elements which are inside of the the Dragonfly probe. So using the heat generated from the, the instruments inside of Dragonfly, it can actually um, use that heat to generate it into electricity to charge the battery. You actually don't get much sunlight because of the distance of the sun, so your solar panels on top of the Dragonfly would be a very impractical idea and it really wouldn't make any of a difference. So they use heat energy to tra transfer that into electricity to charge the battery. And they can actually get a good amount of, uh, they can get about 110 watts. Zero, about 0 0.11 kilowatts, which is actually a, a fair good amount, but you actually end up using a lot of energy as well to actually drive instruments and other stuff. So you can get still a fair, fair amount, but not the total 110 watts. Um, so yes, that's actually an overview of how the systems on board Dragonfly work. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.